A peace to end all peace, the fall of the Ottoman Empire and the creation of the modern Middle East, by David Frumkin is a meticulously crafted historical narrative that delves into the complex web of events surrounding the collapse of the Ottoman Empire and the subsequent reshaping of the Middle East in the aftermath of World War I. Frumkin's work is a thought-provoking exploration of the political, diplomatic, and strategic maneuverings that led to the redrawing of borders and the birth of new nations, ultimately setting the stage for the geopolitical challenges that continue to define the region today. The book sheds light on the intricate negotiations and power dynamics that culminated in the Treaty of Sevres in 1920, a critical juncture that marked the disintegration of the Ottoman Empire. Frumkin portrays the competing interests of the great powers, Britain, France, and the United States, in their pursuit of influence over the remnants of the empire. The intricate dance of diplomacy and conflicting promises exposed the tensions between imperial aspirations and the principle of national self-determination. One of the central themes in Frumkin's analysis is the idea that the peace settlement following World War I sowed the seeds of subsequent conflicts in the Middle East. The arbitrary drawing of borders, often without regard for the region's ethnic, religious, and tribal complexities, left a legacy of instability and resentment. Frumkin illustrates how these hastily created nation-states, such as Iraq and Syria, became breeding grounds for ethnic and sectarian strife. The author's meticulous research highlights the consequences of boundary-making decisions that were often divorced from the historical and social realities of the region. Frumkin also emphasizes the role of individual personalities in shaping the course of events. Figures like T. E. Lawrence, Lawrence of Arabia, and Gertrude Bell emerge as key players who attempted to shape the post-war order in ways that aligned with their visions for the region. These individuals, caught between their loyalties to their own nations and their affinity for the peoples and cultures of the Middle East, grappled with the complexities of imposing Western-style governance on societies with deeply entrenched traditions. Moreover, the book highlights the shifting alliances and allegiances that characterized the period, as local leaders and power brokers navigated the treacherous waters of global politics. Frumkin's narrative underscores the precariousness of diplomatic strategies and the challenges of anticipating the long-term consequences of short-term actions. Frumkin's writing also delves into the socio-cultural implications of the redrawing of borders and the imposition of foreign rule. The book paints a vivid picture of the disillusionment and resistance that arose as populations found themselves subjected to new rulers and unfamiliar administrative systems. These tensions, as Frumkin argues, played a significant role in shaping the Middle East's political trajectory in the decades that followed. In conclusion, A Peace to End All Peace offers a comprehensive analysis of the intricate factors that contributed to the dissolution of the Ottoman Empire and the subsequent establishment of the modern Middle East. Through meticulous research and insightful prose, David from Kin weaves a narrative that underscores the lasting impact of the decisions made during this pivotal period. The book stands as a cautionary tale about the complex interplay of international politics, individual ambitions, and cultural dynamics in shaping the destiny of nations. As conflicts and tensions continue to unfold in the region, Frumkin's work remains a pertinent and insightful resource for understanding the historical roots of contemporary challenges.